every day. Golf Cart Garage gets calls and emails, just like this one from Jared, who wrote in to ask, Hey Dave, I want to get my cart ready for the winter storage months. Now I don't want my batteries to freeze. What should I do? So it's time for Ask Dave, right now on GCG TV. Hey, thanks for stopping by the golf cart garage. You know, this time of year, we get a ton of questions about storing golf carts during the winter months, especially from owners of electric vehicles. Now, the best way to keep your cart safe and warm during the winter is to move to the south. But if you live where the air hurts your face, why do I live where the air hurts my face? You might also be worried about your golf cart batteries winding up like Nicholson at the end of The Shining. Well, as usual, we're here to help. So if we miss something you're wondering about, Golf Cart Garage always has specialists on hand to help with your questions. And we'll go over a checklist, but let's look at batteries freezing first. We get that a lot. A fully charged battery has a freeze point of 80 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Uh, in Canadian, that's about 62 degrees below zero Celsius there, eh? Either way, that's pretty extreme, so batteries can freeze, but it's uncommon. We strongly recommend a smart charger with storage mode, or trickle charging, to keep those batteries topped off and protected from the cold. Our video on that topic is here. If your charger has no maintenance mode, you'll want to check in on the cart and get a full charge cycle every two weeks, because batteries passively discharge while at rest, and we want to keep them fully charged as much as possible, without doing damage of overcharging. If you don't have electricity where you store the cart, the best option is to remove the batteries and store them someplace warm and dry for the season. When reinstalling them in the spring, they may need a jump charge to get going with your regular charger. We have a video on that topic as well. So now that we've covered battery freeze, here's a good checklist to help get you started. Number one, clean the cart. Park in a covered, dry location and check the tire pressure. It's a good idea to inflate near the max PSI on the sidewall because the weight of the cart will naturally deflate the tires while it sits stationary, and we want to protect both the tire shape and the wheels. Number two, fully charge the batteries. Check for corrosion and check the water levels. For a crash course on battery watering, check out our video right here. Number three, remove the keys. Remember where you put them and switch from run to tow mode or disconnect the main battery cables to reduce draw and discharge. Number four, check on the vehicle periodically during hibernation to ensure that your charger still has power and that the water levels have been maintained. It's a good idea to set a reminder on your phone to look in on the vehicle maybe every three weeks or so. If your cart is gas powered, we recommend the same checklist and either draining the fuel or adding stabilizer, along with a yearly tune-up on filters, plugs, and fluids. If you're running lithium batteries, most manufacturers say performance is good to 20 below zero, but also say not to charge below freezing. It's best to check with your battery manufacturer for their specifications. Some other really good tips here. A quality storage cover is great protection from dust and moisture. Checking in on the cart regularly, make sure you're still charging and keeps critters away from nesting or chewing on wiring. And maybe the best pro tip is to get in touch if you have questions or need help. We handle diagnosis, tech help, parts, and more all online at golfcartgarage.com. Or you can give us a call at 1-800-401-2934 so we can help show you around the garage. Give us a like and subscribe for more episodes and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching GCG TV.